Well, hello, everybody, and welcome. My name is Mitchell Osborne. You can find me at MitchellOsborne.com. I'm a psychic, medium, tarot card reader, animal communicator, and a mindfulness transformation coach. And right now, I want to do a new moon manifesting spread for the collective. We have a new moon on Sunday, October the 27th. It's late in the evening at the Eastern Standard Time. Um, but also, we're in Scorpio season. We've got this new moon, then we've got uh, Mercury going retrograde October 20, October 31st, which is Halloween, and some people are already feeling the shadow, and also it's the new year for the pagan Gaelic kind of traditions on November 1st, so there's a lot of stuff going on right now, but I just want to do a simple five-card spread for the collective, and thanks for sharing, retweeting, posting, subscribing to YouTube and, and Facebook, etc., etc., um, and also I do this new moon spread specifically designed for you if you want to check it out and get one designed for you as well as a Halloween year ahead spread for the new year starting on November 1st for those who work with the pagan and Gaelic tradition um, and I do a spread of the week that's discounted right now the cycle spreads about to end but I'll be putting up another one today so first of all let me set the intention for you and for me and that is this that we would receive healing guidance confirmation ground centering, balance, peace, harmony, alignment, joy, abundance, love, great care, compassion, health, wellness, safety, courage, and encouragement. I set the intention that we would resonate, operate, and vibrate in the highest frequency of that divine source, that pure white light, love, God, goddess energy that we can. And I call in any and all of you are my angels and guides and those we work with on the other side, whether we know who they are or not, into this session, as long as they stay in high vibration and play nice. All of this for our highest good and greatest growth, I say, and so it is. All right, final shuffle and cut. And let me just say hello, hello, um, Sue, uh, Jolie, Harrington, Mar Gorgeous, Patrick. Um, so yeah, so if you got cards, grab your cards. If you're watching this in the replay, pause it, go get your cards and come back. Five cards, uh, simple spread, but I love it. I love it. One of my favorite ones to do about every 28 days, right? So the first card is the seed. So this is the inspiration you want to nurture starting Sunday the 27th for the following 14 days as the new moon starts to wane, or excuse me, wax and grow. So what are we, a peace, rest, four of swords. So during during this time, it's time to nurture some rest, some self-care as we're in Scorpio, as we're in retrograde. And this is perfect for retrograde, perfect for retrograde. Now the soil, this is what to surround yourself with to nurture that growth. Ah, releasing emotional baggage, just letting things go. Um, so And dealing with the emotions, not stuffing them. Because number five is all about shifting and changing. It's versatile. It's a beautiful number. Of course, cups are matters of the heart, emotions, love, romance, things like that. So definitely a time to kind of deal with that. And again, perfect time during retrograde to deal with your emotions. Card number three are the stones. So this is what you want to find and get rid of. So we want to find and get rid of the choices and also the indecisiveness. Actually, you know, spirits yelling to my ear going, no, 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 this is not a time to make a choice. Not a time to make a choice. A lot of people believe during retrograde, um, it's not a great time to, you know, make big decisions, buy things, sign contracts. So, and this is, you know, very much air, Libra energy, which we just left. Um, so definitely, you know, get rid of the need to make a choice or choices all together, you know, and just focus on your emotions and the self-care. Thank you, Mar Gorgeous. And then card number four. The sun, this is the advice that's going to be most beneficial. Explain that to me, Lucy. <laughs> the advice, <laughs> you know, again, I, I feel like this is a time where we got to deal with our pain. So this is often Ten of Swords is the self-inflicted pain. This is the end, you know. So maybe by working with all these emotions, you're going to feel some pain. You know, and again, great time to do it during retrograde. Look at the things, you know, that you've been dealing with um, and, and not avoid them. So, you know, best advice during this time, you know, deal Deal with your pain. Deal with your pain. And then finally, the bloom. Let's see. Fingers crossed. 
<laughs> I have no idea what's coming. The bloom or the outcome. This is the best manifestation of your current inspiration during this cycle of the moon. And what is that? Oh, I love it. Thank you, Spirit. It's going to be so much better. This is beautiful Virgo energy, a big old box of money. So money, resources, finances, family, the body. It's going to be really, really good. Very nice energy. And again, another 10, which is completions. You brought things to an end, but 10 is also one. So you're starting again, but you're different. That's what a 10 often means for me. It's like you're starting again, but you're different. Now, here's the interesting thing I have to say. No major arcana. And I've, I've already done this new moon spread. I did a sample spread um, that's going to be going out for the new Encore Tarot, which I got to by Chiodo Marchetti, which I got to write the wands and the coins interpretations. That's going to be coming out. So I used this as my sample spread that he's going to deliver to the people who buy the deck. I also did it for my Patreon people. And both those spreads, no major arcana have come up. So I don't feel like this is going to be a big new moon or a big Mercury retrograde or the new year. I don't think the next 14 days is going to be a big deal because no major arcana, all minor. Now, what I just read for you guys was somewhat balanced. The thing it's lacking is wands. So there's like nothing spiritual going on, nothing creative, imaginative. Three swords. So it's a lot of up here. Um, one cup and a one coin. Now, and this is, and I, I think if I looked this up, this would probably be Scorpio energy. <laughs> Actually, it probably is Cancer. Um, but uh, but yeah, so and we're in that Scorpio season. But th th doesn't that look like that Scorpio sometimes? You know, the pendulum swinging far from one side to the other. So there's your new moon manifesting spread. Pull your own cards if you want to get a personalized uh, version of this for you. I deliver it back to you in a YouTube video. Also, the shadow cycle spread discount rest of the day. And then I'm going to add a new one very soon. A year ahead spread like I mentioned. But uh, just check out my site. And thanks for watching. Thanks for retweeting. Hey, Kimberly. And uh, everybody else. I think I said hello to everybody. So, guys, thanks for posting. Thanks for being there. Namaste. Oh, Sunday night, I will be doing Talking with Animals, Sunday night, uh, right before the full new moon. So Sunday night, October 27th, Talking with Animals, every Sunday night, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you want to get an animal reading, go to the event on my business page, which is Mitch Osborne, The Intuitive Messenger. Read the directions, post a picture. Monday night, I'm doing um, a mindfulness session. What the benefits of mindfulness, better immune system, um, more peace, more connection. Great time to do this going into retrograde and Scorpio season. Season. Um, and just be a 30 minute one, but you'll see that event on this page, Mitchell Osborne um, uh, Facebook page. So, all right, there you go. Thank you. Yes, yeah, Scorpio there. Woohoo, can't believe. <laughs> all right, namaste. Talk to you soon. Bye.